We have a gallery here on Lark Street at 247 Lark Street. Uh, we showcase a different um, themed juried show each month with a featured artist and a side room artist. And uh, tonight at the Call for the Call of the Wild show, we're very lucky to have the Tula Alliance here represented. Um, we have a new member, Greg Johnson, who's part of the Tula Alliance, and he's been bringing in new energy and artwork from them, and we're really lucky to have them. Usually, the artwork that we showcase here is from the upstate area. So um, occasionally, we've had some artists from downstate or other states when we have a national um, call. And um, with the Tula Alliance, we've been able to to showcase art from other countries, specifically Russia, um, so that's been a nice treat to give the people of Albany, you know, that art to look at. Well, I've really enjoyed looking at Sergei's prints of the cats. Um, they're nice and large, and people, you know, like to see the big work on the walls, and they're priced really reasonably, so I, I'm thinking that's going to be a huge selling point for him, that they're priced right in this Albany market, um, and that people might get excited about, you know, having an artist from another country represented here and have a chance to get a hold of a piece of that art here in Albany, New York. Any and every group that we can get involved, we like to. I call it cross-pollinization of artists and, and community uh, organizations because when we work with the Tula Alliance, when we have a show, the Tula Alliance will then send out our information to all of their members and maybe people that never knew that the UAG was here will come out because they heard it through the Tula Alliance and vice versa. People that come into the UAG because they know it's an art gallery then see the Tula Alliance represented and learn more about the Tool Alliance, so there's the awareness of the community groups. 